We are celebrating the day of sweetness with our own sweetie, Francine Bryson, for Francine Friday. We always love having you here. And um, the day of love, and nothing says love like some good old chocolates and sweets Amen and Oreos that. and truffles and red the list velvet. goes on. Red velvet, yes. yes. So happy Valentine's Day happy to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you. You were mad because I didn't wear red. I, know. I wore blue on the day of love. Well, the yeah, day but before. we, we don't what? wear jammies. We were going to wear jammies. We, that didn't work out. So um, I'm going to wear this. Is, don't wear your red. Does this count as red for me? That works. Okay. I'll make sure I'm not yes. covering up my microphone here. You're what, forgiven. <laughs> what's been going on for you? Um, just finished my second cookbook. Well, congratulations. Just finished it. I don't have an it's, advanced copy of it or honey, are there... it, is, it is it is in editing now. Um it's finished and my deadline is Sunday of all days. But awesome. I'm above deadline. And I got it finished, told everybody on Facebook that I was finished and my co writer who does all the punctuation and spelling mm -hmm. and all that, she goes, I'm missing the last chapter. <laughs> My computer <laughs> ate the last chapter, so I had to go my back and rewrite. My dog ate the last chapter. My dog ate the last chapter, so I had to go back and redo the last chapter. But that's going on. There's appearances going on. The cruise, mm -hmm. we're 78 days away from the cruise. We've got Valentine's dinner at the school tonight. We've mm -hmm. got the redneck <laughs> Waffle House Valentine's tomorrow. So if, I've got eight seats available. If y'all want them, let me know. Jack and Megan were talking about the Waffle House. I did a story a couple years ago on the Waffle House, and I thought it was pretty nice. Like, hey. It's I mean, the Waffle House. You can't go wrong with the Waffle House. Nothing says love like smothered, scattered, and covered. Yeah, baby. Okay. I just, uh, my heart fluttered. I just fluttered a little bit. <laughs> and my heart is fluttering over okay. all these goodies you have here. Tell us what you've been, you must have been baking all night because. Just about, so about 1 o'clock this morning. <laughs> um, remember the little Oreo test that we did? Yeah, well, the red velvet right. Oreos are now well, out. This is what we've done. I have Gosh. created the red velvet plethora. Well, that's a big word. I mean, word. this thing, let's start with the Mac Daddy of them. Okay. Because I think that if we don't show this, then <laughs> it, it is a crime against humanity. That is a cheesecake, and this recipe is in my second book, Cheesecake Brownie Oreos. O -M -G. With the crunched up Oreos on the top. This so, looks incredible. Moist and rich and cheesecakey and. This is everything and then some. Yeah, yeah. we, we got to get a shot of that because it's Maybe just me staring at it like, mm. <laughs> Forget Fifty Shades of Grey. This is my love interest. Fifty Shades of Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, so man. then we did, um, I did, of course, I had to do the truffles, the Oreo truffles. Everybody wanted to know if they were going to be done. So, yes, I did them. I'm going to be so your taste tester and make sure they're good. Try them and see what you think. I, I tried one last <laughs> night and I kind of, I kind of liked it mm. a little bit. Mmm. Does it taste mm. like the Oreo cookie that we ate on on camera? This is way better than the cookie. Exactly. These cookies are so much better in something and with something than they are by themselves. Mm. They're so sweet by themselves, but when you put them in something, it changes up. And then I made you some little, remember Ho-Ho's when we was a youngin'? Yes. Well, the Chew did a version of the Ho-Ho, and I've been making Ho-Ho versions forever. <laughs> so what I did is I made you some little heart. They're Ho-Ho hearts. see this? And then I filled them with a cream cheese Ooh. filling. Let me see that. A ho-ho so, heart. There you go. <laughs> but um, it's a ho-ho heart. Mm, I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm never speechless. <laughs> so good. So And then I made the red velvet cake with the seven minute ice and it's Tammy's favorite. I got I got to get everybody's favorites. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls today. I I'm told like, you last night when we were talking, I'm, I was on a, I was buzzing. I'd eat so much cake batter. I know, she was like wide open. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, I'm always wide open, but I was more wide open last night. And this is so the, the... That's the red velvet with the seven minute. That icing that gets crunchy, as mm -hmm. Tammy says it, and she loves this icing, so I made it for her. Mm. And that's our director, in case anybody's wondering who Tammy is. She's calling the so, shots right now. That's right. You go, so, girl. But we have to keep the we have to keep her happy. Mm, this so. is so delicious. But They have to get these in the next book. These are in the next book. The Oreo truffle is the same basic idea. You just use a different Oreo. It's in the first book. This is in the second book. This one's in the second book. They're all going to come in the second book. And that's what I'm doing now is I'm teasing everybody to get ready <laughs> awesome. for the next book. Well, we are out of time, they tell me. These are delicious treats. We'll take pictures of them, put them on our <laughs> Facebook page. Happy Valentine's Happy Day Valentine's. to you. And I'll see you soon. I, I may be over at Waffle House, so we'll see you.